In this lesson, we're going to learn how to compare and order fractions, decimals, and percentages. If we were just comparing these, we would be comparing a decimal number with a percentage. It is much easier to actually compare things when they are the same. So in this case, we could go ahead and convert the 0.62 to 62%, compare it with 60%, and know that we could put in a greater than sign. Now the other way to do this is instead of converting over to percentages, we can just go ahead and convert everything to decimals. And then so 60% could be rewritten as 0 0.60. And in this case, 0 0.62 is greater than 0 0.60. Um, much easier to compare things if we're just going to decimals, especially when we're going to go ahead and involve fractions as well. For instance, three-fifths would be our decimal equivalent for um, 60 percent or 60 hundredths, 0 0.60. So to show you that, I could go ahead and work that out there where I go ahead and find a equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. 60% or 0.6 or 0 0.60, as the case may be. Here's another example where we're comparing. We have 39 hundredths um, written as a decimal, comparing it with 11 25ths. And then, so it's easiest to go ahead and convert 11 25ths to the, that decimal number. And then so we could go ahead and use those equivalent fractions approach there. If you're more comfortable using a division approach, you're more than welcome to. 11 times 4 is 44, 25 times 4 is 100, so that written as a decimal would be 0 0.44, and I'll show you that division work as well. Here's that division approach. 25 cannot go into 11, but 25 can go into 110. 4 times, 4 times 25 being 100, 110 minus 100 equaling 10, and I could add another 0 to bring down another 0. 100 divided by 25 is 4 again, because 4 times 25 is 100, and 100 minus 100 is 0. So two decimal places within my um, dividend here. No decimal places within my divisor. That's why there's two decimal places within my um, quotient and my answer there, 0 0.44, just as before. Now I can just go ahead and compare them, 0 0.39, 0 0.44, less than. So what we're saying is, when you're comparing them, this will apply to when you're ordering them as well, take the time to convert to decimals. Convert each to decimals. Now when you're ordering them, you're going to have to give them back the same way that they were given to you, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So we have this problem here where it says to order from least to greatest. I have one half as a fraction, 0 0.43 and 41%. Again, first step is I'm going to go ahead and write these each as a decimal number. I know that zero, um, 1 half is 0.5. That's one that I recognize. And then so I have 0 0.43 here as well. Now basically I just have three decimal numbers. Very easy to order these three decimal numbers as long as I follow what I'm supposed to be doing. It says least to greatest. 0, 0, 0 in the ones place. Tenths place, 5, 4, 4. So the 5 is the biggest. Again, so I have to rewrite this as a fraction here because it was originally given to me as a fraction. Now this one here, when I'm comparing 0 0.43 and 0 0.41, tenths place was the same at 4 and 4, hundredths place is 3, 1. So 1 is smaller, meaning 0 0.41 or 41% is the smallest. And again, so I have to write them back the same way that they were originally given to me. And then so I look that over again, 41%, 41%, 0 0.43, 0 0.43, half, half. Look to see, make sure I ordered it correctly from least to greatest and that my answer looks reasonable. Here's another problem. They want you to order from greatest to least this time. Again, we're going to take a look at our list first. Okay, we see a decimal number here. So that we'll go ahead and, and say, just write that back down. And then we're going to convert the rest of them to decimals. 70%, oh, we recognize that as 0 0.70. 3 fourths is recognizable as 0 0.75. Now, if you couldn't remember that, you could have taken 3 and divided it by 4. 
And here I'll show you that work. 7 times 4 is 28. 30 minus 28 is 2. Add a 0 to bring down a 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Two decimal places within our quotient, so 2 plus n, dividing by a whole number. So we have two decimal places within our answer, 0 0.75. Now I can go ahead and compare those. And after I compare them, I rewrite the list back. Um, it says from greatest to least. So our greatest is 3 fourths. Next one is 70%. And finally, we have 0 0.6. And it just so happened then that our list was already in order, from greatest to least. All right, your turn, least to greatest. Remember to write that equivalent decimal first. Please hit pause. All right, the first equivalent decimal that you should have written down is 0 0.7. If you wrote down 0 0.70, I would have accepted that as well. Next one is already written as a decimal. 13 twentieths. Find it easiest just to go ahead and write that equivalent fraction out. 65 hundredths. I know 65 hundredths is um, 0 0.65 as a decimal. Very easy to take a look at these here now. It says to order from least to greatest. 0, 0, 0 in the ones place. Tenths place 7, 6, 6. Meaning I'm comparing these two. 8 bigger than 5, meaning 0 0.65 is first. Rewrite that as a fraction, because that's how it was given to me. If you didn't do that, hmm, we had one fraction number there, one percentage, and one decimal. Um, next one there would be 0 0.68, and finally we would have 70%. And remember, you must write it back the same way in order that it's given to you. All right, here is a review. When it says to order from least to greatest, be very careful and actually follow that. A very common mistake is to order them incorrectly. So when we're faced with this list here, we're going to go ahead and convert each of these to a decimal number first. 61% can be written as what? Right, 0 0.61. 17 25ths can be rewritten. So we can multiply the numerator and denominator by what to go ahead and get that target denominator of 100? It's by 4. 17 times 4 is 68. So 17 25ths written as a decimal is what? 0 0.68. So least to greatest, which of these comes first? And we have to remember to write it as a what? Decimal, because that's how it was originally given to us. So we write out 0 0.6. Of the two next numbers, what comes next? Is it the 1 or the 8? Right, the 1 here. Remember, this is written as a percentage. So let's write it out as a percentage. Again, the last step is to always take a look and look to see whether or not those things are answer is reasonable. These two is pretty easy to see that that looks reasonable and it is from least to greatest. 17 25ths we have to rely on um, writing that decimal correctly so we could have used this approach the equivalent fraction approach or we could have ended up using what? Division! Right, where we took 17 and we divided it by 25. And then so um, quick work would show this here as 150, that says 20, add a 0 to drop a 0. We actually added a 0 there. And then so in that case, <laughs> 225, that's why that is that we have that 8 there. And it, sorry, that is messy there. But just wanted to remind you that you can use that division approach as well. And so that's all you need to know. So you know, now know how to order these and compare them. Fractions, percentages, and decimals. Bye for now.